Welcome to Fast Training Week. So Dr. Mindy here, and all this week I am bringing you the science of fasting and which fasts will make you happier. So be sure that you're watching each day. This goes together as a series. And if you need more support as you go through this process, join us in our free Resetter Collaborative. We have an, over 30,000 people over there co uh, collaborating together, cheering each other on. And if you need more guidance this week, join me in my academy where we have our reset guides. Myself, we're all overseeing you as you go through this experience together. We love fasting, we love the science behind fasting, and if you are new to my channel, welcome, subscribe, stay tuned for an incredible fasting ride, and as always, if you love this information, share it out into the world, get your friends and families fasting with you this week, nothing will raise your happiness level like resetting these pathways, getting your neurotransmitters working for you, and dipping into the miracle that you were born to be. Enjoy. Day three, Fast Training Week. So today we're gonna work on a neurochemical called BDNF. Think of BDNF like miracle grow for your brain. It will improve neuronal production and it will upregulate dopamine and many other neurotransmitters. You probably have experienced BDNF after you exercise. When you have that mental clarity and joy from it, from a run or from a workout, that's BDNF. So we're gonna stimulate that today with fasting. And the best way to stimulate BDNF with fasting is through a 48 hour fast. So over the next two days, you are going to be upregulating BDNF. In fact, the research is showing that you get 3.5 times the normal amount of BDNF than you do sitting or even with exercise. So you are really boosting up your brain fertilizer over the next two days. Now, what does a 48 hour fast look like? So whatever time you stopped eating last night started the clock. So on this day, this is day three, you're, pro you're not eating. If you're joining me in this process, you are not eating. Uh, you're just drinking water. You can have tea. Uh, you can have your cup of coffee without cream if you choose to do that. And then tomorrow you will fast and you will break your fast tomorrow night. I will talk about that on the video tomorrow. Now, during today, I want you to understand what's happening. So you're not only stimulating autophagy, which I talked about on Monday, so go back and watch that. You're not only resetting your dopamine pathways, which I talked about yesterday, but we're also upregulating this neurochemical BDNF. When BDNF goes up, what they're finding is it has a uh, cell per preservation mechanism. It protects these neurons. So when you have BDNF in your system, what's happening is those neurons, if they come in contact with any chemical, like something like you breathe in air pollution or you're living in a moldy building, what happens is BDNF will protect those neurons, those dendrites that are on the end of the neurons and make sure that they don't decay and degenerate. In fact, BDNF is so powerful. I found a really interesting quote from these studies that I will put in the notes. And it's basically said that when people eat three meals a day plus snacks, it results in suboptimal brain functionality and increases the risk of major neurodegenerative and psychiatric disorders. That is a quote from the study I will be linking in here. So today we're doing the opposite of that. We are going to upregulate this brain fertilizer. We are gonna protect your neurons and the cells that are on the, the dendrites on the end of these neurons. And we are going to start to upregulate a chemical or a, or a neurochemical called ketones. Ketones are really important. And on tomorrow's video, we're gonna talk about it. Ketones are a sign that your body is now in a fat burning mode. So you are now switched from a sugar burner to a fat burner, 
with ketones, what we know is that as they go up, we also start to get more positive neurochemicals like uh, GABA. You get more BDNF production. We're talking about that today. You get more dopamine. You get more serotonin. So ketones are this incredible system to be able to bring all the rest of the neurotransmitters along with you on this ride. Now remember, Alzheimer's, dementia, um, hormonal issues, all of that can stem from these neurons degenerating in the brain. So today when we start to increase ketone production, when we start to increase BDNF production, we start to regenerate these and protect these neurons from toxins that are in our environment. So it's a really exciting research that we're finding. Now, a couple key points. So next two days, they may be tough, but remember that we're all, we're doing this to be able to experience happiness at a deeper level. So we want, watch your ketones. I want to see those go up. There's no way to measure BDNF other than you'll see that you get more mentally clear. Second thing, those of you that are water fasting, this is day three. So one, two, three, yeah, day three. So if you're gonna break your fast, go watch the videos I've done on how to properly break your fast. If you're gonna continue on, awesome. The other thing, if you're a beginner, I don't want you to miss out on this BDNF effect. So if you're finding 15 hours to be good, then I want you to try to push it a little bit longer today. But today is all about brain fertilizers, and you guys got this. You're doing amazing. Leave comments. Let us know how your fast training week is going, and let's all grab some BDNF.